It's all that I can do Not to touch you
cities underground Jonathan Wilson live on the afternoon show playing at the Sasquatch Music Festival tomorrow on the Yeti stage right around 4 o'clock. Have you played Sasquatch? Have, no. The, have no. you been to the Gorge? Not yet. This it, will be the first time. It's majestic. It's yeah. so beautiful. That's what I hear, yeah. Yeah, you guys will have, We're excited. A, have a great time. Oh, yeah. Uh, speaking of majestic fanfare, just uh, another majestic sounding record uh, front to Thank back. You. 
just heard two songs off at Fazone and uh, Fanfare, and that that last song that's a a cover that's song. That's a cover right? song, yeah, by a by a band from San Francisco called uh, Sop with um, uh, Camel, and that's that song like appeared on on their um, second album. Yeah, how, how did you discover that track? When I first heard Fanfare, I was listening through, and that song jumped yeah. out. I was like, God, I well, know like, this song. Yeah, but... I got turned on to that by by our friend um, Andy uh, Kabik from the band um, Vetiver. Oh yeah, and he turned me on to that one night when we were uh, driving through um, uh, like above uh, Santa Barbara. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, well, so tell me about the new record. Uh, you haven't been in since that album and uh, and just on first listen, one of the things that jumped out uh, at first to me was just sort of the, the sense that uh, the piano played a more prominent role in the album. Like for sure. Yeah. 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 And that was uh, like a big uh, a concert Steinway that we got off of a, a Craigslist. <laughs> <laughs> and we put it in the, the uh, middle of the studio. So that was definitely was the centerpiece. And then we ended up uh, overdubbing it on diff- different songs backwards through uh, through uh, through uh, 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 Leslie's and amps and all. So uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, it became a uh, sort of a, a uh, like the like the heart. You yeah, know? was was that something you you were looking for, or I, I know you, like you have your own studio that right. I'm sure is always a work in progress in terms sure. of acquiring gear and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Well, that that was just for um, you know. Uh, uh, we only had that for uh, uh, 90 days because oh, so those are, you know that's about a uh, uh, the, that piano around, is around a uh, uh, around a uh, hundred grand or something like that. So, Somebody yeah. rents uh, a, yeah. A, a, <laughs> yeah on Craigslist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Instruments of that. Uh, well, that it was for sale, and I called him and said, like, could we just give you some borrow it? Yeah, <laughs> with like for some cash, and, and the guy was like, yeah, sure. That's that's really cool. Yeah. So uh, there's all sorts of legendary musicians on uh, the new album, including Graham Nash and David Crosby, who sing on the song. Um, is it Cecil Taylor or Cecil Taylor? Yeah, um, either I suppose. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. We we keep going back and forth on that. And what were they both in the room at the same time? No, like they weren't. Uh, 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 first, we did the track with uh, Crosby. Yeah, which was a gas, you know, to get him down. Like, oh, I'm sure uh, uh, for the day. And stuff, and so that was a definitely was an uh, epic day. And you had already worked with Graham Nash. Yeah, yeah. And so then we, uh, um, and then we, uh, I'm added Graham, but uh, th- you know those guys' uh, um, confidence about uh, where the other guy would be was, you know, so uh, solidified that wow. it was fine. So without even having them in the room singing together, they could right. sense. Well, I'm sure yeah. they've done it so like they, long. Right? Yeah, like they talked about that. Oh, yeah. cool. Yeah. What was it like for you mixing and being a fan of some of those 70s records that those guys did, like to hear their voices while you're mixing them and right. multi-layering them, I'm sure? Yeah, well, like the only thing I would say to, to describe it, um, you know, during, during the process and to this day when I listen to it, you know, it, like, like it is uh, surreal. That's the, you know, that, that's the vibe that it's, you know, that it's on that song and, and stuff. So. Very cool. Well, <laughs> Speaking of surreal, Cecil Taylor. Yeah. M- listeners <laughs> might not know who he is, but that that uh, seems like sort of an unusual topic for a song. Like he's an avant-garde right. musician, kind right. of a jazz dude, right? Right, for sure. And yeah. uh, so, what were what were you thinking when you were writing that, and and how did he work into it or figure into yeah, it? Yeah, well, uh, it was basically sort of based on a story about him being. Um, being uh, asked by President uh, Carter to come and do like a performance, you know, on the grass at the uh, White House, which I just thought was the strangest thing. That is so cool. That, <laughs> yeah. It's yeah. too bad uh, YouTube didn't exist then. <laughs> that, no, that's <laughs> definitely true. We would love to see that. So you worked that into a song. Yeah. Um, so there's a uh, just. Well, actually, I wanted to ask, you, you've been quoted as saying that uh, cross-genera- cross-generational music sharing right. is something that's very important to you, and it's obvious that you really do it on this new album. Right. Uh, tell me more about uh, sort of why that's important to you. Well, um, I mean, definitely it's passed down through, uh, you know, lots of other um, art forms, and or if you we were talking about uh, jazz and stuff. It's you know it's definitely like like accepted part of the process you know in the jazz um, idiom and stuff. And I think it's probably um, only in 
current uh, um, indie rock that people try to uh, sweep their uh, um, influences uh, um, uh, under the rug and stuff. So, me, me, like uh, me, I give them a, you know, a uh, like a phone call and say, "Hey, man." <laughs> you know. But yeah, uh, that's but cool. that's you know that's uh, I, I mean I, I think it's part of the like the process for like for both uh, sides. Yeah. You know. Is there anybody on your list of people to give a phone call to that uh, there's a lot at the for top? sure. I mean there's a lot for sure. I mean um you know it tends to go in, uh you, you know into the jazz uh, idiom like for me but uh I, I would definitely love to do something with with Keith uh Keith uh uh Jarrett or something yeah. like that it would be fun. Wow. Uh, yeah. I hope you do. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> Lofty dreams, right? Well, you never know. You just pick up the phone and ask, right? Yeah. And and see what happens. So there's an epic quality the, to your songs individually, but then there's, from my sense, just a, an incredible s- sort of connection between those songs throughout the album where the album feels really like a whole listening experience, unlike a lot of albums nowadays. And, and I know for me personally, I like to... I, I like to listen to your albums when I can listen to the whole thing. You, you sure. know, like when I when I'm flying. Right. Like I love listening to uh, Gentle Spirit oh, and Fanfare, great. and I know the crew here at KEXP. Like we love your albums and we oh. play them when we're setting up and uh, when we travel on the road. Oh, that's amazing! It just creates such an incredible vibe for us. And um, so, is that something you aspire to when you put together an album? Yeah, for sure. That's a big part of it. All of it. it's a big part of the. Uh, you know, it probably gives you a few. Uh, gray hairs and stuff like that but like for sure that's a part of the whole and um definitely the sequencing and the like the pacing of it all for sure and um you know and um both of those albums you know i was very concerned very concerned with the um uh, opening statement yeah like of the album and stuff so. yeah i don't want to say they're concept albums because they're like not necessarily lyrically or what whatever's going on, but they, right. they, there's I can I totally understand what you're saying about the gray hairs about the sequencing, right? Because right? because it's got such a great flow. When you're writing songs, are you thinking about how they might go together? I mean, for sure, and 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 that goes on beyond uh, like the process uh, um, of the album too. But like for this band, uh, like at this point, I'm sort of thinking uh, along terms of what. Uh, types of songs would would you know uh, um, um, like does the band uh, not have or, or things that we don't have um, on stage like just uh, different uh, different uh, tempos and styles of songs and, and things like that but um so yeah cool okay. it's Jonathan Wilson live here on KXP you you've got a great band do you mind introducing oh, him before yeah, you go and do sure. another set of songs yes on uh, on the bass there we've got uh, 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 Mr. Dan Horn on bass, and on drums back there, uh, Richard Gowan, and on the guitar right here is uh, Omar uh, Velasco, and on the piano and the tron and in the organ there is uh, is uh, Jason uh, Bourget. It's great having you guys here. Yeah. Um, Jonathan Wilson live in studio here at KEXP again playing tomorrow at the Gorge Amphitheater, part of the Sasquatch Music Festival. And uh, just uh, really looking forward to that. That's going to be a treat for folks. Uh, the new album is called Fanfare. And how about a couple more songs from it? Yeah, for sure. Let's do Future Vision. to release 
Release my kids Free the beating in my blood What once was precious is bound to memory Now I see The Lord I see Touch it is the highest form of this communication love. Forever is a soaring bird you can barely see. Yes, she lights up. She's bored. Yeah, sometimes they fall. You know, everybody falls. The heart.
to find the message in beauty. It's written right there in the sky. Yeah, you find the message in beauty. It's written right there in the sky. Yeah, you find the message in beauty. It's written right there.
Jonathan Wilson live on KEXP. That is Dear Friend, Future Vision right before that. Both of those songs can be found on the new album, Fanfare. Jonathan Wilson playing Sasquatch Music Festival tomorrow at 4. That sounded fantastic. Thank you. Yeah, man. Thank you guys for having us. Oh, you bet. In addition to an artist, you're uh, in in, uh, demand as a producer. Just finished the uh, Connor Oberst record recently. Right. Yeah, and uh, are you working on the Lana Del Rey record? No, no, um, just some, just some, uh, just some, uh, just some uh, various uh, tracks. Yeah, yeah. That, yeah. Does uh, producing give you sort of an outlet to express a different side of yourself musically? For sure, and 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 it gives a chance to like explore and uh, uh, and uh, try things that I wouldn't do. But, but like with uh, my own album and you know yeah, things yeah. like that for sure is that because it's more of a collaborative effort with the, you know you're taking into account the other artists needs and yeah demands? For sh- like for sure and um and, and just sort of uh you know like expanding the palette of uh possibilities you know so uh you produced the first father john misty record i yeah. know that you guys are working on the new one. Oh, it's almost done can yeah. you tell KXP listeners what it's going to sound like? Oh, it's uh, um, oh, um, oh, it's amazingly um, elegant. Yeah. So that's the yeah, that's the vibe. Yeah, we love that record, the last one. So yeah. uh, looking oh, forward to too. to a new one. So um, Jonathan Wilson playing again tomorrow at Sasquatch. Thank you guys so much for coming in, Omar, Richard, Jason, Dan, Jonathan. Yeah. Appreciate it so much. Yeah, man. Thanks for having us. Thanks to uh, Kevin Suggs, doing a great job on sound. And the crew here on video, Jim Scott, Justin, and Luke, and David on uh, the photographs. That content will be up uh, online shortly, uh, as in like the next week or so. Kevin Cole with you on the afternoon show. It's KEXP Seattle.